In a restaurant at Disney, a woman's told there's no allergens in the meal she's ordering. This is a lie, and the woman dies. Now, Disney argues that the resulting case should be dismissed because years prior, the widower husband signed up for Disney+, Plus, a streaming platform that shows Disney shows and movies. A trial, by the way, is what he signed up for. What's particularly insane to me is that Disney chose, instead of paying the measly 50k to make this go away, they opted instead to indicate to everyone that signing a Disney Plus membership waves away their accountability. If it were a naked drag parade, Disney would gleefully jump on Zoom calls to signal how different the, their kids are and how many genders they have because to them, trans kids doesn't have the same ring as vegan pets. But a woman died and Disney's go-to after their factual negligence was to get this case tossed out because hello judge, they signed up for the streaming service so Disney can't be liable now. In fact, I heard they force a similar agreement that the couple actually agreed to on the Epcot tickets they bought that they never got around to using because the wife died after Disney lied and allergied her up when she specified multiple times that this was an issue. Did I mention she's a doctor? They do this because they believe they can get away with it, and I recognize my channel's blatant disgust with identity politics. Poisoning escape entertainment that people pay for makes me biased, but... Click the join button below my video if it'll make you feel better. What, oh, you can't? It's because I'm not ad friendly. So maybe take my word for it this one time. Disney indicating that signing up for a Netflix adjacent streaming service actually strips you of rights in a case as extreme as your partner potentially dying after being lied to about the contents of food it should force you to ask the question. What other rights have I signed away because of nefarious fine print? What have you relinquished in the way of rights? This is a Disney defense that can hold up in court. Which other company has this power based on some agreement that you've clicked through just to see a website or play a video game? By this point, we've all signed away similar rights skipping through fine print that is apparently more evil than a deal we could make at a southern crossroads. But they are under the impression this kind of thing's gonna go off without a considerable amount of noise. This didn't get flagged as a PR potential nightmare. $50,000 is a dream to most of us, but to Disney it's nothing. Hundreds of millions of dollars are wasted on projects that they know people will hate. Because Disney, like the gaming industry with sensitivity consultants like Sweet Baby Inc., are too busy telling people what they like instead of selling people what they like. Extremely gender politics obsessed content aside, the creatively bankrupt necessity to race swap and gender swap pre-existing characters. It is a middle finger on top of the spread ass cheeks of the division they force. Wasting money lecturing after taking payment and now trying to weasel out of what I would consider humanity and allowing a grieving widower to quickly sort out this thing that you caused. I'm subject to immense scrutiny on a video game take channel that many people will probably never see because what am I gonna punish those of you who are kind and seeking entertainment with the, the bullshit of everybody else? No, 
I'm black, but I refuse to sip the Kool-Aid so I don't buy into the division. I don't accept the handouts or opt for roles that simply need a ticked box that happens to be my race. I've seen death, and I know that the monetary expenses extend the hell that the mental toll grants you. The human thing to do would be to pay this motherfucker whatever so that this process can move along and reach done. Because it's never really done. But he's not gay. He's not trans or identifying as a hamster. So he's not relevant. Not as relevant as a Disney fight with DeSantis. So this money, you know... It, why should it go to some weak, poor widower, right? Disney's well aware if they just hold out that anybody that's going up against them will run out of money. I don't expect corporation to be kind, but I'd hope that someone on payroll has enough sense to know better than to let news like this reach good people's ears. There must still be good people, right? Because if I'm wrong and Disney's right, then times are messy, angry, politically charged and we are as divided as they seek to make us with this repulsive propaganda that you have been subject to for a decade i'm sorry about this i know that you have a grind that you seek entertainment in between to take the edge off you don't owe me your time or any task taken on as a secondary objective in the same way that I recognize you don't owe people uh, therapy and reinforcement of their delusion. But in this scenario, I hate Disney. I feel I am justified in, in hating them. I'm not encouraging hostility. I'm passing this information on because I believe people should know. Blat blatantly you can sign up for a streaming service even a trial and you're signing away liability for a corporation to be held accountable in an event as cataclysmic as someone dying after they lied to you what are they the government now I'm not trying to make this woman or man part of my, quote, culture war, which is why I've left their names out. But in the same way South Park sums Disney up these days, they summed them up back in the day, too. They want to charge you to use your mouse, not Disney. Them. The CEOs are so out of touch that they could never be made to understand our poor lives. They aren't cooking their own meals. They get to have kids and buy multiple houses and not have to take care of those, those kids or even inhabit the house to defend it. They'd have you killed in a heartbeat if it was convenient. This woman was a doctor. She studied for a life serving people, helping people. I know she wasn't fighting people twice her size and dropping cringe Reddit CW lines in a movie with a $200 million plus dollar budget, but thankfully, she was better than that. She was real, and Dr. Tang Swan, forgive my mispronunciation, should remind us all that all of them are out to get us to own nothing, sign away our rights, be forced to subscribe to them and have our access revoked the second that we step out of line and the only thing that's going to stop that is noise i thought disney had enough to worry about with the disgusting kid-centric nonsense and people caught on camera indicating discriminatory hiring practices but i guess that makes them uh invincible you it's money and and money will do that I could have dug deeper here, but I'll be honest in saying that I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed that this is real. Nothing else.